And it was the only one that was closed. It's like, what the hell? You don't want to make well, money? I don't know about that. I didn't wander around the just place. Just come on. It's drama. It's for the show. Because it's the neighborhood. Don't give false information. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching... Vegan Twosome. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a big bowl of miso ramen and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes for you every Sunday. This is another special one, isn't it? Very special, because we had to come here twice. First time was on a Monday. It was supposed to be our first meal in LA, and it was closed. And Diana was like, what? And I was like, what? I looked on other social media, their website, nothing indicated that they'd be closed for lunch on a Monday, so I was so confused. And also, the review portion of the episode got cropped, so we had to redo it. And that's why we are bundled up, yeah. even though <laughs> we're supposedly in LA. Where are we at today? Today, we are having lunch at Ramen Hood. Ramen Hood is in downtown LA at the Grand Central Market. So this place is like basically like a mosh pit of restaurants. So it's essentially a little mall and there's nothing in there but food court. It's a food court mall. Yeah, exactly. And Ramen Hood is the only 100% vegan food stall in this market. And you were telling me about the, the owner is a um, Iron Chef winner no, or something? The owner is a Top Chef winner. Top Chef is a reality cooking show. Oh, I thought it was Iron Chef. But he's not even vegan, is he? No. Just wants the vegan's but money. Cool that he opened up a vegan ramen place Very in cool. LA. Very cool. Very cool. At this food stall, you order your meal at the counter and then they have like high table seats for everyone to sit at. When we went, it was lunchtime. It was actually pretty busy. I ordered the garlic ramen and I thought about ordering the vegan egg because it looked really interesting. But when I asked about it, the person said they had sold out for the day, but it was only lunchtime. And I got the spicy garlic tofu ramen. Let's get into it. Which one should we start with? Let's start with mine, the garlic ramen. Not garlicky enough. If you're gonna call it a garlic ramen, I want it to be filled with garlic. And it had thick noodles. The broth was not too thick. It wasn't very flavorful. And it wasn't a lot of broth. It also had mushrooms and seaweed on mine, which again, also, fine toppings, but I just feel like it didn't have the depth and richness of other vegan ramens I've had before. And I had really high expectations because it was opened by a top chef. Like you said, the garlic didn't have that much flavor. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of flavors. I like intense flavors. And it was really lacking that. And it was lacking a lot of ingredients too. I think it could have had more ingredients as well. The seaweed, I don't like seaweed at all. I tolerate it in sushi, but that's about it. Overall, okay, decent, fair enough. One, One two, two, three. Spicy garlic tofu. The tofu was really good. It was nice and seared. The broth could have been a little bit thicker, a little bit spicier. It wasn't that spicy. And the noodles were good. Again, it had seaweed, which I thought it was gross. I didn't eat it. What do you think? Same. I mean, when I think of spicy, I think of really spicy because when Amir usually orders his ramen and you can choose the spice level, it's so spicy. So this one was hardly spicy at all. The tofu was pretty good. And the noodles, same as my noodles, they were thick noodles. It was fine. <laughs> Had better ramen again. One, One, two, two three. three. Boom, every three again. Another four. Generous today. If we ever find our way in LA, would you eat up ramen hood and eat again? I would because they have other kinds of ramens and they have 
special ramen, like a mirror's was actually a special. So they might have other special ramen that we might want to try. They also have a menu of different size. Maybe that's good as well. We didn't try any size on our visit. But I think ultimately the fact that there's an all vegan ramen place in LA makes me think I want to go support it because it's really, really cool that that place exists. Would you go back to Robin Hood? My favorite ramen is at a place called Ramen Dambo, which they got a big chain that got locations all over the world. Go check out that link right over here. This does not measure up to that, but not the fact that it's all vegan and I would try it again for sure. And maybe try something else. Maybe try some other sides. If you enjoyed this episode and you like the kind of videos we do, go ahead, give it a subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell if you won't miss any episodes. And if you didn't enjoy this episode, check out the rest of the channel. We got over a hundred other videos. You might enjoy one of those. Take a look at this video on Amir's face. I'm sure you'll enjoy watching us eat food. Is it ramen? Possibly. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs>